Now that we've reviewed body cavities and serous membrane, we can now actually look at one of the clinical application questions in the lecture notes for unit one, chapter one on body orientation. So if you go down to the lecture notes, you'll notice inside the lecture notes or sometimes in the study guide, I ask clinical application questions. These are great questions for practicing for short answer questions for the exam. So we just went through body cavities and we went through body membranes. Um, so these two videos in here are also great for going through the cavities and the membranes. And now, we can go right here to a clinical application question. It, the Gomez family was traveling and had a minor accident. The older children in the back were wearing seat belts. They had some bruises around their abdomen and some internal injury. So why is the abdominal area more vulnerable to damage than others? Hint, think about what surrounds the thoracic cavity but not the abdominal pelvic cavity. So for that, let's go back to our slides and look at those cavities. Okay. So here we have the thoracic cavity, and then here we have the abdominal pelvic cavity. So can anyone guess what is surrounding or protecting the thoracic cavity? In other words, your heart and your lungs inside. You can actually see a faint outline here. So someone had guessed earlier today, that's the ribs, which is correct, right? Your rib cage will protect your thoracic cavity, which has your heart and lungs inside. But look down at your abdominal pelvic cavity, right? Or even just feel your abdomen and your stomach. Do you have any bones there? You don't. So really all you have there to protect you is some muscle and some skin and um, fatty tissue. So Therefore, because there's no skeleton to protect you, right? A seatbelt going across your abdomen versus the seatbelt going across your chest, the seatbelt across your abdomen is going to be able to dig in deeper and do more harm, okay? So that addresses the first question, right? Why is the abdominal area more vulnerable to damage than others? The second is what internal organs are more likely to be damaged in this accident? So again, go back to this image and think, okay, well, my abdominal pelvic region is more vulnerable. So now we just start listing some of the organs that we might find in this cavity, right? That could be injured, right? So think about what's in your abdominal pelvic cavity, what organs? So for example, intestines and think about some others. All right, so notice again, these clinical application questions follow immediately after learning the basic anatomy. And so we're gonna be seeing a lot of these application questions to really get you to try and understand and apply the material and not just memorize it. So again, I highly recommend whenever there's these clinical application questions in your lecture notes, the lecture or the study guide, um, try to answer them and actually try to write them out. Again, that's great practice for the type of short answer questions you'll see on your exams.